What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute mat stretch. So grab your mat and let's go. Alright guys, welcome to your 20 minute mat stretch. We're going to spend all of our time down on the mat today. So make sure you have some space around you. Have a mat, have a towel out, a soft foam mat, whatever you have around you. Let's go ahead and start. I'm going to have you guys step on back to your mat. And by the way, I am wearing shoes today. I'm sure you guys have heard every day this past week, but I still do have an injury on my foot. Feel free to do this stretch barefoot with socks. You don't have to have shoes. I'm just going to keep mine on for a little while longer. Okay? So come on back, stretch feet to the edge of your mat. I want you to place your hands on your thighs, and in three seconds, we're going to glide down with a flat back. Two, one, and here we go. Now, remember to keep your back completely flat. If you get to a point here and it starts rounding, I want you to stop and just hold that position with a nice flat back. Start off with the hamstrings. This is a muscle that we all tend to kind of ignore when we're having back pain. It can radiate up from your calves, from your hamstrings, from your glutes. So let's start here. And I want you to flatten your back out. Reach a little bit lower now. Hold right here. Big deep exhale. Two. One, and let your back round out. Relax your arms, relax your neck. Okay, and let's look left to right. With your head going to the left and the right. Still relaxing your neck. Relax your arms. Good, now let's go ahead and place your hands down on the mat in front of you. Walk about halfway out into a pike position. Okay, ears are right between your biceps. And work on getting your heels down to the floor. Okay, if you're not there yet, maybe your calves are a little tight and you're up here. Let's just pedal, pushing one heel down at a time. Again, a lot of tightness in the posterior chain of our body can radiate up into low back pain, so I really wanna work on the calves, the hamstrings, the glutes today. All right, one last stretch. Push your hands down into the mat. Push away. Heels are going way back. Good, now from right here, shift your weight up to your noses right between your thumbs, and let's bend your knees down into that tabletop position. Okay, let's go some hip circles first. Sticking with the lower body, let's circle those hips around. Push your hips way to the side each time you circle around so you feel that stretch right on the outside of your glutes, right where your hips are. And switch directions. So if you're going clockwise, now you're going counterclockwise. Each time you go to the side, reach, reach, way out to the side and way back. Good, good, good. You've got sore glutes like me, you'll definitely feel this one. One more big circle and then meet me back in that neutral position. All right, and let's shift your hips back into that child's pose, walking your hands forward. Okay, relax your neck, drop your forehead to your mat. Work on getting your fingers far away from your tailbone. So let's open up your shoulders and your lats. Big deep breath in and exhale. And let's go one more. Big deep breath in, exhale. And come back into that tabletop position. I want you to take your left leg and swing it right beside your left hand on the outside. Okay, Let's flatten that back leg out as much as you can and roll your chest up. Okay, so you feel the stretch deep in your hip flexor from that back leg. 
Make sure your hips are not tilting to the side or pointing backwards. They're both facing the floor right in front of you. Work on really pushing that back uh, hip flexor towards the floor. Okay, left foot is out front. I want you to leave your right hand on the ground. Take your left hand, open it up. So your chest is opening up towards your front leg. Reach to the ceiling. So a little hip rotation here. And bring it back down. Great job. Now let's swing back onto that back leg. Take the other leg back and let's switch. So right leg comes up top outside your right hand. Leave your hands on the ground here for me. And just roll your chest up. Chest is up. Hip is pushing down towards the mat. Great job. Continue that deep breathing. to just sit here in this discomfort for a second. You'll feel it start to ease up a little bit. Keep breathing. Great job. Now, same thing. Let's open up your chest to that front leg, reaching your hand up to the ceiling. Shift that back hip down towards your mat a little bit. Are you still breathing? Good, there we go. And place both hands back onto the floor. Great job, take it back. Knees are right under your hips. And let's rock forward, dropping both hips down towards the floor. Okay, if you need to walk your hands out just a little bit, you can walk further away from your hips. Okay, if your hips are not that flexible yet, if they are, Work on walking back towards your hips, okay? I want you to stay right here. Legs are nice and relaxed. Chest is rolled up and back. And your chin is lifted towards the ceiling. So go ahead and extend your chin. Big deep breath. Feel your lungs fill up. <sighs> Exhale, let it out. One more time. Good, now let's go ahead and roll over onto your left hip, crossing right leg in front. Okay, I want you to sit right here, hugging your chest towards this right leg. You'll feel a good stretch back here in your glutes. Two different ways you can do this. You can kind of face more towards your foot or you can keep this side angle. Okay, either way you're gonna feel a really good stretch here in your glutes with this bent leg, the same side. Great job. All right, so our right leg is over top. I want you to take left hand, twist it over your knee, and then twist away. Okay, so straight arm is on the outside of your knee. Twisting your body away so that your shoulder, you're looking back over your opposite shoulder. And go ahead and come back to the front. Great job. Let's switch legs now. So other leg is out to the side. You're gonna cross that knee over. Hug your chest towards your knee. Sit nice and tall. You feel this stretch right here in your glutes, right? Sure you're sitting tall, make sure you're not rounding your back out, okay? Sit nice and tall, pull your knee towards your chest. Keep breathing, good job. All right, let's cross that opposite arm over. So right knee is up top, left arm is coming over. I'm twisting away.
three, two, one. All right, great job. Bring both of your feet into the middle of your body, soles of your shoes or soles of your feet together. All right, let's grab one of your toes and I want you to extend your chest up through your arms like you're pushing it forward. So those hips rotate forward nice and tall as you pull on your toes. Good, keep breathing. We're opening up these adductors, opening up your hips. Job. Keep your right hand on your feet and I want you to extend the left arm up and over. You should feel this all down your side here. In your ribs, in your obliques, in your low back. Make sure you're not folding forward. Notice the difference here and here. I'm up and over on this one. Great job, you need a little support. You can put your elbow down on your leg. Just keep reaching tall and over. And come back to the top. Great job, that's a good one for the low back, right? Reach it up, exhale, fold it over. If you did the 30 minute abs workout on my channel, you're definitely feeling your obliques. Good job, good job. Keep that chest nice and open. All right, let's go for that basic hamstring stretch. Okay, come on back with a straight leg. Nice tall back. I want you to just sit nice and tall first, pushing your legs towards the ground. For some people, this is a hamstring stretch. Some people are here, right? If that's you, I want you to work on getting your feet down, getting your calves, hamstrings, everything touching the mat as you sit on those tailbones. Okay, if that feels good for you, walk your hands forward. Notice the angle of my back is not changing. Okay, I'm not rounding out. Stay nice and tall. Reach forward. Think about pushing your chest towards your toes. Keep that flat back and keep breathing. Chest to the toes. Good. Wherever you are, keep your back flat. Great job. Come back up to the top. And this time I want you to actually let your back round out. Okay, so let's fold down like you're putting your nose between your legs and try to open up those shoulder blades away from your spine. Okay, so if your back is tight, they're here. Try to let them fall forward and open up around your spine. Relax your neck. Good job, all right. Come on back, let's go on to your back. Okay, let's work on a, a glute stretch here. So crossing your right ankle over onto your left knee. Push that leg up towards your chest. You should feel this one in your bent leg on the side here, the one that's crossing over. If you need a little extra help, you can actually reach your arms through and pull that leg closer to your chest. Okay, but work on making this leg drive that leg towards your chest. Great job. We'll get to the quads a little bit here soon. We'll work on the hamstrings and the glutes and the hips. All right in this central area of the core of your body that people can feel pain. So I just wanna open all of that up. Okay, go ahead and switch legs. Okay, so crossing the other foot over, pushing it towards your chest. Using this front leg, the one that is behind, to push that ankle towards your chest. Great job, you'll feel that in your side glute here. And I just want you to hold it. I want you to sit here, 
feeling the muscle relax, mentally letting it relax. Don't push to the point where you're shaking and it's uncomfortable. Just give it a good gentle pressure and then gradually it will ease up. Good job. All right, go ahead and release both feet out. I want you to stack them right up over your hips. If this is hard for you, I want you first to focus on straightening your legs so that your heels stay over your hips. Okay, this is hard for some people. For everyone else, I want you to work on keeping straight legs and letting them fall towards your face with your toes flexed towards you. Okay, tailbone is down. And you should feel this in your calves. The more you pull your toes towards your face, the more you'll stretch those calves out, even close to the back of your knee. It's kind of a hard spot to hit. Force those toes down, 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 and point them back up to the ceiling. Let's work on that dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. And pull your toes back down, 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 down. Keep your legs straight, forcing your knees straight, forcing your heels away, forcing your toes down. Dorsiflexion here, and push your toes up, plantar flexion. Toes are towards the ceiling. And good, all right, let's bring your feet down. Let's come back in the middle, soles of your shoes together. I want you to reach your arm over your chest. Let's work a little bit on the back of your shoulder now. Okay, this open hip posture helps you keep everything nice and tall. If you're on one side, you'll feel a little lopsided, right? So keep both of your tailbones down onto the ground, both of your sits bones. Keep your chest facing forward, nice and tall spine. And go ahead and switch, good job. Good, good, good. I'm holding mine up a little high so I don't smash the mic on you guys, but same thing, just make sure you're drawing your arm right across your chest. Reach up tall as you lace your fingertips together. Try and open up your chest again. And good, let's come over onto your stomach now. Okay, fold down onto your stomach. And I want you to take same side, arm and leg, reach back for your ankle. Okay, and I want you to try and pull your heel down to your glute. As close as you can, heel to glute. Okay, this is super easy for you. I want you to hold onto your toe and lift your leg off the ground so there's space in between my quad and the floor. Okay, if this is easy for you, lift your leg off the ground. But if you are feeling this stretch here, go ahead and keep it right here. If you need a modification to work on grabbing your ankle, you can actually come up onto your forearm, then reach back and grab. Okay, or have someone help you. Also, resistance bands are great for this one. If you can loop a band around your shoe, Pull it over your shoulder. That'll help out if you're having trouble reaching back to touch your ankle. Resistance bands are gonna be linked in the description. I always have those there. They're great for mobility, for pull-up assistance, for so many things when you travel, workouts when you travel. So if you're looking for those uh, resistance bands that serve as pull-up bands, mobility bands, they are linked in the description for you guys. Go ahead and switch. Again, if you need some help, come up onto your forearms, and then reach back and grab it. And then pull that heel down towards your glute, really forcing your hip into the floor. And I've got one more upper body stretch for you guys after this, working on the chest a little bit. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now, I want you to flatten yourself completely out, having your arms open like a T, straight out from your shoulders, okay? Right arm first, I want you to bend your arm and actually push yourself away from the floor, looking over that shoulder. So I want you to feel the stretch in your chest muscle and in your 
deltoid muscle, your shoulder muscle, on the arm that's on the floor. Three, two, one. Good, go ahead and relax. Let's straighten that arm out now. Switch arms, placing this arm right under your shoulder. Let's push up and away. And looking over your shoulder, forcing the opposite shoulder down towards the floor. Great job, and then come back to the center. If you can, let's lace our fingertips together right at your tailbone. And then open up those chest muscles, forcing your shoulders back. Open your chin. And let's hold for four, three, two, one, and relax. Amazing job. Place your hands right under your shoulder. Let's press up. Pull your hips up. Sit back into child's pose. Tuck your toes down, shove the hips up, slowly walk back towards your toes. Get to your toes, hang out here for a second, and then one vertebrae at a time with your head coming up last. I want you to roll your body up. All right, stand here for a second, big deep breath. And you have made it through your 20 minute mat stretch. I hope you guys feel amazing after this. I love a good deep stretch. Everyone needs it a lot more than we think. I try to do it at least three times a week. I try to recommend you guys always cool down with a static stretch like this. It's so, so important for your muscles to recover and to be ready for those workouts the next day. Okay, you don't wanna be constantly sore or constantly tight, not being able to get into those full ranges of motion. So that's where injury can occur. Okay, and the last thing I want is for you guys to experience an injury that I know we can work to prevent, okay? So make sure you practice these stretches. Share this stretch with a friend. I know as it gets cold, it gets a lot easier to wanna to just kinda of get out of the gym when you're done or just be done with your workout. We have to keep stretching, okay? Our muscles are tight, we're shivering, we've gotta open up everything and work hard to keep this range of motion and flexibility a core part of your fitness routine, okay? Make sure you guys check out, like I said, those resistance bands. If you had some trouble with the cat or with the quad stretch, I link the description uh, link the resistance bands in the description so you can always grab those and tons of other things that I use for mobility, for workouts, etc. All in my Amazon store. It's a direct link there so you won't have to go searching and shopping. Okay, make sure you guys check in with me. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you got a really good stretch today. And don't forget to subscribe before you head out so we can keep growing this community. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.